What advice would you give to a young person today with a bit of fire in their eyes, high school student, college student, thinking about what to do with their life? Maybe advice about career or bigger advice about life in general. <laughs> well, first read fundamentals because there I've tried, <laughs> I've tried to to uh, give some coherent, uh, deep advice. About, that's oh, that fundamentals. <laughs> Ten keys to reality by yeah. Frank Kulchak. So that's a good place available to start everywhere. If you want to learn what I, I what I can tell you, uh, the uh, is there an audio book? I, I, I yes, read that yes, e there is an audio book. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I think it's I I can give three pieces of wise advice that I think are generally applicable. One is to cast a wide net, to really look around and see what looks promising, what catches your imagination, uh, and, and promise it, yeah, and those, you have to balance those two things. You can have things that catch your imagination, but don't look promising in the sense that the questions aren't ripe or, uh, but, but and, and things that you, and part of what makes things uh, attractive is that wh whether you thought you liked them or not, is if, if you can see that there's ferment and new ideas coming up, that become, that's attractive in itself. So, uh, when I started out, I thought I was, and when I was an undergraduate, I intended to study philosophy or questions of how mind emerges from matter. But I thought that that wasn't really right. The timing isn't right yet. The ripe was the timing wasn't right for the kind of mathematical thinking and uh, conceptualization that I really enjoy and am good at. Uh, but uh, so that that's one thing. Cast a wide net, look around, uh, and that's that's. A pretty easy thing to do today because because of the internet, you can look you can look at all kinds of things. You have to be careful though because there's a lot of crap, also. But, but uh, you you know you 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 can sort of tell the difference if you if you do a little digging. Uh, the the uh, so don't 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 settle on just you know what your thesis advisor tells you to do or what your teacher tells you to do. Look for yourself and 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 get a sense of what 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 seems promising, uh, not what seemed promising ten years ago. Or the, uh, the uh, uh, so that's one. Uh, another thing is to is kind of complementary to that. Well, the, they're all complementary. <laughs> the uh, complementary to that is to uh, is to read history and read the masters of the history of ideas and masters of ideas i benefited enormously from as 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 uh, in early in my career from reading uh in physics uh einstein in the original and Feynman's lectures as they were coming out, and Darwin, you know, these, you can, you can learn what it is, and Galileo, you can learn what it is to wrestle with difficult ideas and how great minds did that. You can learn a lot about uh, style, how, how to ex write your ideas up and, ex and express them in, in, in clear ways. And also just, just a couple of that with, uh, I also enjoy reading biographies. And biographies, couple, yes, similarly, right. Like, yeah. so it gives you the context, the of, context of the and, human and, being that created those ideas. Right, and brings it down to earth in the sense that, you know, it was really human beings who did this. It's not, uh, and and they made mistakes. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I also, you know, I also got inspiration from Bertrand Russell, who was a big hero, and H.G. Wells. And, yeah, so uh, read, read the masters, make contact with great minds. And when you are sort of narrowing down on a subject, learn about the history of the subject because that really puts in context what you're trying to do and uh, and, and also gives a sense of community and grandeur to the whole enterprise. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the third piece of advice is <laughs> complementary to both those, which, which is sort of to uh, to get the basics under control as soon as possible. So, if you want to do theoretical work in science, you know you 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 have to learn 
calculus, multivariable calculus, complex variables, group theory. Nowadays, you have to be highly computer literate. Uh, if you want to do experimental work, you also have to be computer literate, and you have to learn about electronics and, and optics and instruments. and so, so get that under control as soon as possible, because it's like learning a language. Uh, it, to do to to produce great works and express yourself fluently and with confidence, uh, it should be your native language. These things should be like your native language, so you're not you're not wondering hmm, how, what is a derivative. <laughs> this is just part of your you know part. It's it's uh, it's in your bones, so to speak. You know, and, and the sooner that you can do that, then then the the, the better. So th those all those things can be done in parallel and should be. Yeah. yeah.